Good morning. It is Tuesday, April 19th, 2022. Had to think about that for a moment. Good morning, everyone. My name is Janice Malillo, and I am a virtual slash executive assistant. And <coughs> excuse me, um, today's tagline, which I wanted to chat about, of course, is why marketing your way is that important. So many of us are online entrepreneurs. And by the way, I want to let you also know that I am also recording this to the cloud and it will be uploaded to my podcast platform as well as, <coughs> excuse me, my YouTube channel. So why marketing your way is that important? I've seen a lot of chit chatter lately in the different um, support groups in, that I'm in, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook groups. Um, and the big message or the big topic that has been coming up is cold messaging. For instance, if someone says, <coughs> excuse me, if someone says, for instance, in a Facebook group, you know, looking for a VA, et cetera, you know, please send me your resume or reply with this link. So when does it become spammy is the first question. When does it become spammy when you are marketing? And that is a great question because a lot of people do not like receiving cold or spammy messages. For instance, um, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe you have mutual friends and you're getting new friends on Facebook and you see that, okay, we have six or eight friends, um, mutual friends, and you decide to accept that friend request. And then all of a sudden you get a message out of nowhere. And some people think that is spam spammy. Some people think that it's not. And I do think that there is very <clears throat> a very fine line with that. So for instance, if you sent me a friend request on Facebook and we have no mutual friends, and but I see that we're in the same kind of business, I check out your different profile, I check your um, other social media accounts and think that it would be a good fit. For me, it's all about the organic approach, whether it's I see a post in a Facebook group, or maybe it's on Instagram. <clears throat> hey, um, I see that you're a VA. Um, and we have some mutual friends in common, or if we don't, that's okay. And, you know, interested in your services. Well, of course, I'm going to reach out to that person and send them a follow up message. I think what is getting lost in the translation because yes, some messages that do come through are spammy. But on the other hand, I appreciate the fact that somebody took time out of their busy day to reach out and inquire about my services. So I'm curious, um, I'm curious how Everyone else handles that. What is your feeling on the subject or the topic? Um, I see that I do have a few listeners on wisdom <coughs> and I do want to let you know anyone that's listening through this wisdom um, that I also am recording this to the cloud. It will be uploaded to my podcast platform as well as my YouTube channel. And want to encourage anyone who wants to chat about this conversation on why marketing your way is that important. Um, love for you to come up on stage and <laughs> let's have that conversation. Um, gosh, my cough is so darn annoying. I, I can't help it. I've done everything. But anyways, let's continue the conversation. So what is marketing my way? I love the organic approach. Um, of course, I have a spreadsheet. Um, I do use Trello um, to make sure that I am following up with people who have 
you know, inquired of me of what my services are. And <laughs> to me, that's, that works for me. Um, my spreadsheet of Facebook groups, and by the way, I do have a huge um, Facebook group list. Um, it's more oriented toward women. Men have used it as well if they're in those groups. So um, <laughs> it is not my, fa my um, spreadsheet, but I would be happy to forward a copy to you. So let me know. So, you know, I have that spreadsheet. And then what I did was create my own spreadsheet where, okay, it's Tuesday on these, on these, on this day, I can reach out or, you know, do a post under a specific thread. <coughs> Let me just take a quick sip of water here. I can reach out on Tuesday on a, in a specific Facebook group and post in that group. What people are forgetting and this has happened to me, I'm, I'm, no except, I'm no exception to that rule, is to make sure that you follow up with anyone who may have sent you um, a message or emailed you or you know, sent you a message through <coughs> Instagram. And you know, I, my chat yesterday, by the way, was on um, you know, mindset after an absence. And I've been playing catch up. So I am definitely behind in some of my messages. So if you are one of those delightful people that have contacted me, I will get back to you. I do promise. I'm actually pretty much caught up. I just have to double check Instagram again. But that's really important to make sure that you do that proper follow up. You know, it's not so much about, you know, let's say somebody sends you responds to your Facebook post, you respond to them, and you don't have to do it within five minutes. But you know, we are in a digital world, what if that was your ideal client that would have been such a great fit for you. So it's kind of kind of working out the kinks on how well you operate with your marketing outreach, what works for you, <laughs> what hasn't worked for you. Um, let me take another sip here. Don't cough all morning and then I get on camera and I'm coughing. So really curious to hear from my audience here. Please, um, would love for you to come up and let's have that chat. Why marking your way is that important? Would love to hear from you. You know, the other thing I, I wanted to chat about too with, with marketing is where do you think your ideal client hangs out? Now, for instance, my ideal client, um, whoops, is typically on, hitting all the wrong buttons there, is typically on LinkedIn, Facebook, or Instagram. I am on TikTok. Uh, don't really know how or why I should use TikTok, but I am on TikTok. I haven't really done anything with it. So I'm, you know, being honest about that. Where does your ideal client hang out? Have you done any different marketing surveys? Marketing surveys are a great way <coughs> to find out what people, what different online entrepreneurs are looking for, for your type of business. Obviously with being a uh, virtual assistant, I have um, a wide range of services that I offer, but I really, these past, um, really the past month have niched it down so much more so because there are things that I am a thousand percent excellent at. And there's some things that I am not that great at. You know, we, I have a talent for project management, for being a creative um creative entrepreneur with social media, creating the graphics. I absolutely love that. So I offer <laughs> virtual assistant services or, you know, or executive, you know, some people call me their executive BA, whatever you want to call me, it's fine, along with social media creation. But I also offer scanning services. Uh, that seems to be a very 
hot industry right at the moment. And I love the organization aspect of doing those type of services. It's almost as if, and this is where my 30 plus year uh, paralegal background comes in. It's almost as if, you know, I'm given that banker's box of documents, which has happened in the past. And it's like, here, do something with this. And I instinctively know what to do with it, that. That is my creative aspect on it. And why, of course, I created Creative Project Ways, which is a division of my um, LLC, which is <coughs> truly your VA LLC. I do a lot of content repurposing, um, blog writing. I am a ghostwriter. Um, I obviously cannot tell you to whom I ghostwritten for because that would be breaking confidentiality and cannot divulge that, obviously, for very specific reasons. But what I can tell you is I am a 16-time published co-author, written several um you know, obviously participating in 16 books, which are all on Amazon. And if you'd like to see that list of books, I would be happy to <coughs> send that to you. Let me know. Um, and also, since it's Tuesday, we are talking about marketing. The other aspect of my business that I love is business coaching. I love helping entrepreneurs you know, pull all of that information out of them so that they can, you know, develop their business. A lot of times when someone wants to start their own business, like that's a huge step. It's like, where, where do I start? What do I do? And I actually offer um, a service for new entrepreneurs called the Power Hour. And it's actually uh, one and a half hours where we Pow wow for an hour and a half. <laughs> and typically it does run a little bit past that, but it's basically an hour and a half for $250. After that hour and a half, I do suggest, you know, working further with them and say, hey, um, I think this package, based on what we've chatted about, would, would, would work well for you. And I do offer them um, on that call a $150 discount on the further package that they um, want to purchase from me. So it's $250. And then if they decided to work further with me, I offer them on that call that $150 of the $250 that they paid gets applied toward their new package. And it really works out great because it's a way for, it's a way to, you know, work with a business executive, work with somebody such as myself that can really direct you in a way as to where you should go, what you should do, how you should market yourself. And it's filled with just so much goodness. And I know that sounds kind of corny, but, you know, it's a way for you to work with someone to maybe have them pull out of you or just to talk with someone who's well familiar with running a business. Um, I actually run uh, technically three businesses, but I'm technically running uh, two businesses right now. I have a business with my sister called Two Sisters, and I have my um, VA business. So it's a really great way to work with someone. And today I want to tell you, if you would like to work with me with the power hour, I'm actually knocking off a hundred dollars today off my power hour. If you are interested, go to my Instagram on my profile, please make sure you follow and uh, on my pay, on my Instagram page, and then send me send me the direct message, Power Hour, and I will send you the link where you can um, pay that uh, one hundred and fifty dollars. It's normally two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm taking hundred off today, and you can book the appointment, pay for the 
the fee and it'll take you directly to my scheduling page where you can schedule your power hour, which again is one and a half hours. So I wanted to put that out to you. I see I do have a couple more viewers on, so would love for you to come up and chat. And let's see what your, um, let's see, multitasking here. Sorry about that, guys. Just making sure I'm clicking the right buttons here would welcome the opportunity to chat with you about marketing your way and why that's important to you and what you want to achieve out of that. Um, but first, coffee, I'm just gonna take another sip, quick sip here. Why marketing your way is that important? Have you started something specifically your business and you wonder where should I start with marketing? Like what is the right way? Where, what is the proper way? I will tell you that there is no right way. You just have to make sure that you're doing it in such a way that you are comfortable with that. So if it's messaging someone, hey, I saw your posts in Facebook group XYZ, um, I'm a VA, you know, um, love to have the opportunity to chat with you. Maybe it's something as simple as that. And I think in a lot of respects, we, <coughs> we tend to overcomplicate the process. I know I have, and, you know, I think this is my fourth, no, third or fourth year, third year, I believe being in business for myself. And it's been an evolution of trial, of errors. I've made tons of mistakes. I've spent a lot of money on, you know, whatever, coaching different apps or this or that, that you, you know, I have to have all this so that I can market. And I think if we just get back to basic, basics, what works for you in your industry? which is a great place to start. When my clients are researching different topics or different areas where they feel they need to look in, I encourage them, obviously, not only go on uh, YouTube to research, but also go on Rumble, Amazon, Etsy, um, <coughs> Pinterest. Great sources of research. What are people in your industry doing? Once you start researching, what I've heard a lot from my clients is, well, there's too many people in my industry. Let me tell you, there's enough work to go around. Don't let that stop or deter you. Let that be the motivation. You may be reading somebody's profile, or maybe you found a book on Amazon, you're reading through the reviews, which is a great way to do research as well. And that sparks an interest in you or an idea in you where you're like, <clears throat> okay, they did this. How can I do it different? Maybe a little better, of course. How can I do this in such a way that is feels good to to me right that sparks the curiosity that gets things going that's a good thing now it does take time and i know that time is that one precious commodity of course but it is well worth the effort Maybe you only want to start with uh, one social media platform, let's say LinkedIn, for instance. How do you monetize that? Or I shouldn't say monetize that. How do you market that yourself on Instagram in such a way that feels good to you? We want to feel good about the work that we do. I love the work that I do. Absolutely love it. I love being creative. I love being that, that um, 
creative project manager that pulls that information out of my clients. Absolutely love that. It gets them thinking. It gets them going. That sparks curiosity and interest in them, which takes them maybe in a different direction. And that's okay. I mentioned yesterday, these past eight months have been kind of a, a shit show. My son uh, suffered a life-threatening injury. He's okay now. But with that being said, it really, I'm so blessed and grateful that I found a way to work more closely to what I want to do. I'm so blessed and grateful, not only that my son is doing so well, but that I get to work. I get to create my own work. And I didn't have to worry about, you know, when I was down in Philly, I've been back and forth to Philly so many times. I didn't have to worry about my boss or taking time off from work. I'm my own boss. Priceless. I can't even begin to tell you. So young moms out there, maybe you're an empty nester. Whatever you are where you are in your life right now. There are ways to market yourself in a way that is important to you. You know, they say consistency is part of the part of the battle, I guess, part of the battle woes, if you will. And that is true. And that's why yesterday I wanted to I wanted to focus on mindset because I have been absent, going back and forth to Philly. You know, my laptop is ready to crap out on me. I will be purchasing one hopefully within the next um, week or two. But what are those things that happen that maybe derail you or maybe they direct you in a different direction? For instance, I had a great conversation with one of my clients the other day. And we were chatting about content repurposing. And she was, she said to me, I don't understand the premise behind content repurposing. So I explained to her what I thought, what I know for myself and my business, what content repurposing is. It's maybe taking um, a post you did from two months ago in creating a blog post out of it. Maybe you add to it and you post that on social media. That's content repurposing, whether it's for a blog post, an article, maybe you wanna start your own podcast. I actually technically have three podcasts, podcasts with my sister, two sisters. We focus on health and wellness. I of course have my VA podcast, which Again, this will be uploaded on my podcast platform, as well as my YouTube channel. And then I have, this is my project, my creative project, mission, purpose that I love doing is um, sharing those stories that inspire us. So that's another podcast that I had just started in the midst of all this craziness these um, past eight months. So maybe it's repurposing your content in a way where it's not overwhelming. You're adding to it. Maybe you've been invited to be, um, to be part of an anthology project, which that's one of the things that I'm working on again too. That's another creative project of mine. Um, I also have a, a little, I call it little because <coughs> I don't, technically advertised, but um, I have my own little publishing company. And last year, um, I ran my own anthology series called the Knockout Shelley Project and had some, I think I had 10 authors all together, including myself. And that is a great way for, for instance, for a group of new entrepreneurs, maybe you're just starting your business, maybe you're a VA as well. Um, 
And maybe you want to share what you've learned since you've become a VA that will help other VAs. And I bet you can get probably get 10, 15 more co-authors to join you in on that. And what better way, what better way to market yourself than by also doing a book? Obviously, I'm kind of geeky with books. I know that I obviously love to read and write. I have a whole bunch of books here. My um, mindset books, I'm currently reading uh, Robin Sharma, The 5 a.m. Club, a couple books from Mark Batterson, and of course, Jen Cincero. I hope I pronounced that correctly. You are a badass. And guess what? You are a badass too, because you're, you're starting a business that's going to inspire other people to start their business. How good is that? Is that a great way to market? What are some marketing tips that maybe you have used that have worked amazingly for you? Maybe you have some marketing tips or, you know, maybe certain things that happened that you, you know, you went to do a certain marketing thing and it didn't work out for you. What could you share or what could you learn from that? Would love to hear from you. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. I see I have a couple listeners on. Um, would like to invite you to come up on stage and let's chat about why marketing your way is that important. Speaking of social media, there's social media. And now, of course, we have audio social media. Obviously, I am on the Wisdom app right now. And I'm also on Clubhouse. Are you on Clubhouse? Are your clients on Clubhouse? Lots of good things with these new platforms. And I, I think it's just kind of amazing that we are able to have these conversations in such a way with people all over the world in real time, of course. And what better way to market yourself? Hmm, the topic of conversation today. So I'm gonna give it another minute. Um, I would love for any of my listeners to come up and chat with me on why marketing your way is that important. And I want to encourage you, if you're listening to the replay of today's chat on with specifically on wisdom, um, and you hear my offer to work with me for the power hour for which is an hour and a half, normally it's $250. I am taking $100 off today. Go to my Instagram. Please make sure that you like and follow me on Instagram and send me a direct message power hour and I will send you the link to that um, scheduling and payment app. Again, that's $100 off. Amazing, amazing. Let me know how we can connect. Let me know how I can help you. I also do offer a free 30 minute uh, consultation. Let's have that discussion. My name is Janice Malillo. I want to thank you all for being here today for whether you're, you're listening on wisdom, whether you're listening on my podcast platform or viewing this on YouTube. Yes, I am having a bad hair day and hopefully in the next couple of days, I will also be making an appointment with my hairdresser. And you know what? If I'm having a bad hair day, that, and that's the only thing I can complain about, I think I'm having a fantastic day. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for listening. And let's get you scheduled for that power hour. Why marketing your way is that important? Thank you so much for being here today. Have a great day.